Hello, my name is John Longcroft Neal and I am from Coventry in England. Well, that's where I was born anyway. I live now in Nuneaton, which is a few miles just north of there. So I'm really from the centre of England, from the Midlands, as it is called. And I'd be very keen to take part in this Worldwide Accent Project. I'm fascinated by accents. I know when I first went to college, there were so many accents all coming together in one place. Liverpool, Manchester, Wales, London, Birmingham in particular. Fascinating a range of accents from just one city. So uh, I'm fascinated by them. I can't do them particularly well, but I'd be uh, very pleased to take part in this um, project. I also think that um, uh, young people, teenagers in particular, reflect the accent of the area very well. And often they have the nuances and vocabulary um, that is up and coming. They invent the new accent. Whereas older people have it embedded in them for their whole life. And they would probably, probably use an accent and some uh, dialogue. Or, not, that's not the word I mean, accent and... Um, the words that you'd use in an area from a few decades back. So uh, I'm more than happy to do this, and I think some more older people ought to take part. I've seen a number of younger people doing it, and that's absolutely fine. So I've been required, or been asked to read out this passage. So here we go. See above the clouds, near where the blue sky appears to fold, some say it is the entrance to the floating isles, where pirates still rule the air and dragons choose to live. Only the most skilled pilots can sail their craft close enough to even glimpse the light coming from within. You can't find those who know their way. They find you. Rather, you four lazy tourists must learn from your books and be ready so that you may not miss an opportunity to travel to that mysterious place. It would be an adventure that you would never forget. Now I think that's enough with this pleasurable storytelling. Go home and join your aunt. She's cooking fine food. There we are. Also, a final comment that I've just remembered. Accent is often, uh, for English people anyway, I think, a statement of your status, your class division. Working class people will possibly have a different accent to middle class or upper class people. Right, sorry about the change of light, but there was something else I had to say. One was to say what the name for gym shoes was. Uh, I suppose trainers would have been what it is now, but when I was a kid, they were called pumps. Pumps. Uh, or if you're a different part of the country, and some were, they, they might have called them plimsolls. We had a, a teacher who was from Wales who called them plimsolls, or even daps. Daps. Very interesting. Uh, but if you wanted a curious... Uh, curiously named article it would be a small batch of, of bread that you would put a burger in that sort of thing and it can be called many things but I would have called it a batch others might call it a roll um, and from where my wife is in Yorkshire they called it a plain tea cake crazy there you are okay So I would say that your accent really does define who you are and is a very good indicator of who you think you are as well. And of course some people put accents on for different effects. Sometimes when people go home to 
to parents and they've lived away, they adopt their original accent quite easily and slip into it. Whereas uh, if you want to impress somebody, particularly on the telephone, you will use a posh accent. So it's a very powerful tool and I think one that we uh, ignore, not at our peril, but uh, it's well worth having a very good look at. Anyway, congratulations to those who have put this together and I hope this contribution about my English accent is uh, useful in some way and I look forward to hearing some more. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.